Hmm. Day umpteen of the stay-at-home order. What to eat? Hmm. There was a half a pizza in there. I bet I think I ate that. Well, and then maybe burgers? Uh, no, I ate those too. Uh, hey, what's this? Eh, uh, can't tell. Probably throw that away. Could go to the store, but that would involve pants. Oh, wait a minute. Huh, think I could make something here. I got a bottle of wine and a whole season of Ozark to binge. Chicken pot pie. Here's what I found. There was a pack of puff pastry in the freezer and there's a bag of frozen vegetables. There's some celery from yesterday's Bloody Mary. About half an onion, a little garlic. I have a roast chicken since they are two for one. Seems like we always have an extra chicken in the fridge. Some fresh herbs, chicken stock, flour, butter, milk, and I'll need an egg. This will work. This herb pack has thyme, sage, and rosemary. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the sage and rosemary and then use the thyme for the stock. Now let's turn our attention to the chicken. Break it up into quarters. We are going to use this whole bird. Now I've set up uh, two bowls in a stock pot. You'll see as I break this up that I put the skin in one, the pulled meat in another, and all the bones in the stock pot. Now to the bones, I'll add chicken stock, and then we'll put in the fresh thyme. In a saute pan, I'm gonna take the fat and render it from the chicken skin here. There's a lot of flavor in this and I don't wanna lose that. Now let's cut the vegetables. I cut the onion into a dice and then I'll crush the garlic. After the chicken skin crisp, Jerry told me I should have rendered the chicken in this pan so I wouldn't dirty two of them, but ah well. So we'll add the onion and the garlic and saute. We want to stir this and pick up all the fond, all the bits that are stuck to the pan. Then we'll deglaze with some white wine and reduce the wine until almost all of it is evaporated. Now here we go with the pot pie. In a large pot, we'll add about a quarter cup of butter and then the frozen vegetables. We will need this much butter to make the roux. After all the vegetables have softened, I'm gonna add the onion, the garlic, and the chicken fat into the pool. Now add the same amount of flour as you had butter. So in this case, about a quarter cup. Whisk and cook about 30 seconds to cook out the flour before adding the stock. Now whisk until smooth and thickened. Then you can add a bit of milk or cream if you had cream in your fridge. And then in goes the chicken meat and the fresh herbs. Season with salt and pepper and we're almost ready. I heated my oven to 400 degrees and I have these large ramekins, but one with a large bowl or a pie dish would work just as well. Ladle the ramekins full of the pot pie mixture, really till it's right at the top, and then we'll lay out the thawed puff pastry. Now use your ramekin as a guide and cut circles about half an inch to an inch wider than the dish. I'll need two, and then press it around the ramekin like this. Press it against the sides and then cut a vent hole in the center to let out the steam. Take a beaten egg and brush it all over the puff pastry. Then onto a baking dish and into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes, we peek and eh, not quite ready. Another five minutes, then perfect. Just look at those beauties. Now all I need to do is grab a glass of wine and find that remote. Enjoy your binging.